What is going on, everybody? It's Drew coming to you with another comic book review. We are doing a few books today. Uh, I meant to actually upload some a few days ago, but uh, unfortunately, I live in the part of Georgia that got hit with the tornado, so we had no power for about two days, two and a half days or so. But I'm back. I'm back. Um, so today, I'm going to be doing a few reviews, and uh, before I get started, let you know I do comic book reviews, trailer reactions, film commentating. Uh, podcasting, collaborations, any recommendations, f film reactions, all that stuff. But uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, like, leave, comment below, and be sure to join. All right, so we'll get started on two comic books I've read in the last few days. I ordered a whole bunch, and a whole bunch came at the same time. I'm still reading some of them, but on this one, I'm going to be doing two from Scout. And like I said before, the other day I did a scout uh, review from Scout. I'm going to continue to branch out from the typical Norm DC Marvel. And I do got some DC and Marvel I need to read. Um, that's coming soon. I know a lot of people are true big DC Marvel fans. But I've been into a whole lot of indie and other type stories. So that's exactly who I am. If you're going to come to this channel, be prepared to not only here about DC and Marvel. All right, so we'll get started on this one. I have this one from Scout Comic called Grim Space, and then the second one's going to call Dark Land, and both of these are from Scout Comic. So I'm going to get started with Dark Land. Dark Land is written by Nicholas Black. I don't know who that is. It's unfamiliar. Um, just to give you a breakdown of what's going on, there is this lady named Crayer. She has half an arm and she is a convict. She's a prisoner. And basically, the, it is like supposed to be like super far in the future. So basically, she's in there and these people want to hire her and to help get her record expunged if she works for them. She is on a mission to have to find this young lady for whatever reason. And uh, they're going to definitely get her expunged. Now, if she goes off the books, they want that they say she'll be executed. And they also say she needs to bring the young girl in alive. If not, then she'll be executed. So it's a whole lot going on. I am not so sure. What, I do not know why she was in prison. But that's where it starts. And she has half an arm, so they were sketchy. But it turns out this arm that she used is an advantage rather than having a real arm. It's some type of special uh, weapon, I guess, uh, that she attaches to her real or her half arm. Um, there's this other group that has caught the wind that she was hired to get this girl. So I'm unsure of what their motive are, but they say they have to protect the girl. But I'm looking at it like she's also someone that has to bring the girl in alive. Which means she's working for, they call it the Covenant. The Covenant. Um, so, yeah, this is a good read. This is a good start, and I love it so far. I have not complained. I love the book, the graphics, the storyline. It doesn't go out of, it's not all over the place. It's straightforward. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to recommend this one from Scout Comics, written by Nicholas Black, Dark Land. Uh, so yeah, that's without telling you too much. I told you a little bit, but, uh, it's, it's something. But going into the next one, this one is called Grim Space. Now I read this one. I didn't jot down notes. The story is by Frank Martin, Frank Martin. So this is about a kid, um, named Jack. He is a space mechanic. This is another book based off the far future as well. He's a space mechanic. He has this little robot that's having issues. The robot thinks it's real. So his his leader, his mother, and all these other people are like, get rid of it. You're wasting time. I need my mechanic working and not spending too much time on that stupid robot. So he's dropped off at a space station to sell this robot. And nobody wants to buy the damn robot. And um, it's a very rare robot that people haven't seen in a very long time. But there was one person that recognized the type of robot and decided to make a trade instead of a buy and gave him this little thing that 
will make you jump into a further or bigger galaxy that they didn't even know existed. Anyways, they got it back. They were pissed off at him. Um, like, what the hell is this? This is not what we wanted. You know, you could have sold the parts for the robot, whatever. They went to sleep and they woke up. They found out the ship had jumped and skipped into a whole other um, galaxy or system. And ended up somewhere they have never seen before. There was a gigantic ship. Jack decided that he's sick and tired of being doubted as a person. That, okay, we're going to go. I want to prove that this thing that I got was, uh, this little device was worthwhile. And they end up going into this giant, well, he ended up going into a giant ship. And uh, they were, like, scared. Like, you didn't get the hell up out of there. Either way, there's giant aliens in there. He comes run off with his egg, and uh, it was like a whole room full of eggs. He don't, No one knows what those eggs are. I don't even know what they are. It didn't even say. But he took one, and he got chased down by a giant uh, alien. And uh, no telling what they, they are. He took off with it because they're trying to make some sales. They're trying to make some money. He's like, well, this is worthwhile, whatever it is. No one knows what it is, but still, for some reason, the story goes back to the robot. Now, I don't know what the robot has to do with the story, because at the beginning, the robot was eating food and all this other stuff. Think it's real. They was told to sell it, but it jumped back to the robot, and that's where, it, where I'm going to end this at. But this is another interesting read, because it leaves you kind of hanging, and you're trying to figure out where are they go with this. Where are we going with this story? Where does the robot fit in? What does this? What is this egg? What is this thing? This device? What is all this? So that's why I, I like it because it's leaving me like, okay, I got to read the next one because what, what's going to happen? What's going to happen with here? What's going to happen here? What's going to happen here? And that's where it leaves you. Grim space. I think I'm saying that right. Grim, right? It ain't grime. It's grim. Yeah. Grim space. So recommend it read. Uh, yeah. So go ahead and read it. And uh, yeah. So, uh, no, no, yes, no, yes, no. I'm a little lost, actually. I'm a little lost because this says one shot. I just thought about that. I just now look at this and it says one shot. I'm not sure what that means. Bro. Let me. It, I, okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll look into it. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.